If you're new to this channel, you may consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you continue to receive the updates. We all spend a great deal of our time these days online, be it for education, fashion, or even for the groceries. We go online for pretty much everything these days. One very strong feature that all of these popular online portals offer is the power of recommendation. You might have been shopping on Amazon and you would have noticed they show you something called as frequently bought together. So when you're buying an item, they suggest you a couple of items which accompany that item pretty well, based on the purchases made by people like you in the past. Let's say when you're looking for a dress, which could be a gown for a special occasion, you'd find this online fashion portal suggesting you just the right jewelry and other accessories that go well with the specific gown. But are you aware that behind these modern day recommendation systems is the classic concept of probabilities? Yes, you heard me right. These recommendation systems have a very strong and deep connection with the concept of probabilities. So in this video, we'll try to uncover that for you and you'll realize how useful the probabilities are apart from just being a subject that you study in schools. Let's take an example of online food delivery. So to some extent, we all rely on ordering food online. Let's say we're talking about a particular restaurant that's very popular for its lavish breakfast menu and they have multiple items listed. But we are focusing on these two items only at the moment. So let's say at the end of the month, when the restaurant is trying to look at what all transactions have taken place, they found that item A is present in 500 transactions. And for the same duration, they found that item B is present in 1200 transactions. They also found that there are people who have ordered A and B together. And that number is, let's say, 300. And of course, they don't only sell A and B, they sell many other items. So they have totally done about 10,000 transactions in a month. Now we will begin to talk about it in slightly different terms. So here's the information we have so far. The number of transactions where A is present, the number of transactions where B is present, transactions where A and B both are present, and the total number of transactions. And can we represent this in a different form? So there's a term that's called support of A. By definition, support of A is the number of transactions where A is present divided by the total number of transactions. So that will be 500 divided by 10,000. Likewise, support of B is 1200 by 10,000. That is the number of transactions where B is present divided by the total transactions. And by now you can guess what will be the support of A and B. That is going to be 300 divided by 10,000. Straightforward and simple. Now, would it be fair to say that support of A is the same as the probability of A? The outcomes of interest divided by total transactions or sample space? Can I say support of B is same as the probability of B? And can we say that Support of A and B is nothing but the intersection of A and B because A and B both are present. So if you can imagine the classic Venn diagram in your mind, this is the overlapping section between the two circles. This is probability. But that's not all. We've just got the base setting up. So let's move ahead. The question that comes is, what is the confidence of A when B has already been added to the card? So we are trying to understand something that's known as the market basket analysis, which essentially focuses on the items that are frequently bought together. If you have information that item B has already been added to the card, how confident are you the customer would also be buying the item A, given B is already present in the card? Now to solve this, we'll have to use the information that's already available. So confidence of A given B is support of A and B divided by support of B. Now, these pieces of information are already available with us. Support of A and B is 300 divided by 10,000, and support of B is 1,200 divided by 10,000. If you plug those values here and solve for it, we get the answer as 0.25 or 25%. All right, we get that, but how does it help? First of all, please note, this confidence of A given B that we are talking about is same as the conditional probability, probability of A given B. Now, what we need to analyze is what was the support of A? So the support of A in this case was about 5% or 0.05. So now let's put this together. Support of A being 5% means A is found in 5% of the total transactions. And then what does the confidence tell us? Confidence says when B is already present in the card, A is found in 25% of the transactions. And this lets us to derive a new metric called lift, which is nothing but a ratio of the conditional probability to the prior probability. And if we put the numbers here, 
it is going to be 0.25 divided by 0 0.05, which is 5. What does it indicate? Don't you see that while A was found in 5 out of 100 transactions earlier, when we have this intelligence available that B has already been added to the card, now A is found in 25 out of those 100 transactions. So how many folds has the likelihood of A's purchase or addition to the card gone up, given that we have information about B being added to the card? It's five times more. This ratio is simply telling us it's five times more that A and B will be bought together compared to their independent purchases. This is known as the market basket analysis. And this is a pure and direct application of classic probabilities and conditional probabilities. Now, of course, it's not going to be that simple overall because you're not just selling two items. You may be selling multiple items. Remember, the total transactions that we had for the restaurant were about 10,000. So there must be many other combinations that exist. To solve for this complex problem, there is an algorithm that exists that's known as the a priori algorithm. But the foundation of all this is nothing but the concept of probabilities. So this was a quick tutorial to give you an idea that probabilities should not be underestimated. They are the backbone of the modern day recommendation systems as you know them. And these are the recommendation systems because of which when you go to an OTT platform, you end up binge watching. Few hours pass by and you don't have a track of time. These are the recommendation systems that are responsible for a lot of purchases that we make because these systems understand us so well that they give us just the right recommendation based on the purchases made by people who are like us. You'll hear more on this from us in the subsequent videos.